Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of the Dragon Rig from the AutoRig Pro Rig Library Blender add-on. This rig is part of a library of 24 animal rigs which can be bought at Blender Market. It's important to note that the AutoRig Pro Rig Library is specifically built for the AutoRig Pro rigging system, so you need to have bought that add-on for the rig library to work. Each of the 24 rigs comes with a locomotion animation, and in the case of this dragon, that's this flying animation. Uh, let me show you that from multiple angles so you can get a better idea of the animation. Um, and just so you know, I've animated this on 30 FPS and not on 24 because um, with the whole creation of the rig and the animation, I kept game engine compatibility in mind. So uh, yeah, that's, that's why I did that. Cool. Let's get back to the features of this rig. And uh, first of all, I would like you to note that um, the whole purpose of this rig is to act as a template rig that you can use to rig your own models. So um, any type of uh, model which has a similar anatomy uh, as to this dragon, uh, you should be able to rig it using this template rig. Um, cool. Uh, something else is the rig comes with this block mesh which is just there to act as a visual guide so you, so you can get an idea of the placement of the bones within the mesh. It should make it easy to uh, place the bones of this rig within your own uh, model. But if you have no use for it, you can just simply delete it. There's no harm in that. Um, it's just there to help you. Okay, let me turn the rig back on. And uh, let's dive into some of the main controllers. Here we have uh, the position controller. Uh, that's used to place the rig within your scene. We have this trajectory controller that you can use to animate any type of trajectory for the rig. Uh, we have this root mass controller which controls the upper and lower body. And we have this root controller which only controls the lower body. So you can use that to animate a hip sway, for example. Also have this tail master controller uh, that lets you animate all the tail bones at once and the same principle with this uh, spine mass controller it lets you animate all the spine bones at once the neck mass controller lets you animate all the neck bones at once and then we get to the head controller uh, if I open the tool tab you can see that it has this headlock property let me demonstrate what it does so if I take the neck controller and I moved around you can see that the orientation of the head follows but if I toggle this headlock and I move the neck around again you can see that the orientation of the head keeps facing forward so that's what the headlock does okay on to the legs the legs are by default in IK mode but I can easily switch to FK so let's switch back to IK uh, let me show you the auto stretch feature let me turn it on so the, the auto stretch is when I move the leg beyond its limit it stretches the leg uh, which gives for some nice uh, cartoony animation so let me turn it off again um, uh, what else do we have for the leg? Uh, well, I have. if I turn on X-Ray, you can see I've added this custom clavicle bone to the, to the leg, um, as you can see. And um, I, I found it necessary to add this uh, custom bone to the leg setup uh, because Autorick Pro by default didn't uh, give me the, uh, the option. I needed an additional bone for the clavicle um, just to make it uh, 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 a more realistic setup for the leg. Um, so yeah, that's the reason for the for the for the additional uh, custom clavicle bone that's there. Let me turn off X-ray. Um, on to the foot. Here we have a toe controller, which you can use to control all the toe bones at once. Here, uh, a foot controller for nice ankle controlling. Here we have the foot roll, and uh, that's nice for, well, a foot roll. <laughs> when you move it uh, up and down, and when you move it sideways, it gives a nice banking movement of the foot. Okay, 
onto the onto the wings. Well, the wings are in FK mode by default, but I can switch to IK. And now it's an IK setup. Uh, let's keep it for now in IK and turn on auto stretch. And again, you can see that the wing stretches out now beyond its limit. Okay. Uh, arm twist is there to correct any deformation in the arm. Uh, and we have elbow pinning. So uh, here we have, wait, let me show you that a little bit better. Here we have the elbow. And when I move it, you can see that the elbow follows along. But when I pin the elbow and I move the arm or the wing, uh, you can see that it stays put, so it's pinned. Um, then one final uh, property of the wing is the finger grasp. You can see that, yeah, well, it does what the name says it does. It, it's sort of, yeah, it's a finger grasp. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think I've covered all the main features of the Dragon Rig from the Auto Rig Pro Rig Library. Uh, if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact me uh, on Blender Market. I'm always happy to help. But um, yeah, thank you for watching.